Hello, Plano family. I am Damon Wilson, proud graduate of Plano Senior High School in 1993, and also a proud graduate of Southern Methodist University as well. While I was in the Plano school system, I had probably the best education that I know that a kid can get anywhere in the country. I ended up being a national champion twice, one in history and the other in dramatic interpretation and forensics. I was awarded, uh, thanks uh, on behalf of Dr. Myrtle Hightower, uh, my own day in Plano uh, in August the 12th, given by Mayor Florence Shapiro uh, to me. Uh, and it was an honor that I would end up building the rest of my life on, being an entrepreneur and owning a business called The Perfect Performance, in which I travel all over the country working with children and teachers on how to do forensics and theater and how to build their programs uh, in a better way. So it is an honor for me to have an opportunity to speak to you all today. Many, many years ago, I was asked to participate by Dr. Hightower in a Martin Luther King celebration in which I stood up there and I gave Martin Luther King's final message about going to the mountaintop. I am thrilled today that I would be asked to come back and to share with you all a message about being stronger together. Now, Plano family, I'll be very honest with you. Right now, it is very, very difficult to talk about a message about being together and certainly about strength. With COVID that has happened, it has completely and totally flipped my whole world upside down, as I'm sure it has for many of you all. And it has been very difficult to show strength when not only has COVID been happening, but we have so many tumultuous things that have happened in our country, even here recently, that seem to tear us completely and totally apart and seem to completely and totally put so much pressure on our country to be separate, to hate one another, to be divisive. And yet, I am reminded of the words of Dr. Martin Luther King in which he said that despite the frustrations and difficulties of this moment, I still have a dream. And I must tell you, Plano family, that I have found in my life that it is in these moments of turbulence when your world is completely and totally flipped upside down, that those are the moments that reveal the true character of a person. Those are the moments in which you get to see a glimpse of the worst in people, but you also get to see a full view of the best in people. So in a way, all of this is purposeful to bring us all back together, to remember that we are all a part of this amazing country that is still doing amazing things, that's still educating students like me, that by all means, according to the statistics, that I should be a statistic. I was raised by a single mom helping to raise my brother and also going to work and also going to school, participating in extracurricular activities. I was absolutely exhausted. But it took the strength of the community to come together, my teachers, my friends, that all gathered around me that said, no, no matter what's happening in your life, you're going to be great. We believe in you. We believe in your dreams. We believe in your goals. And we are not going to see anything for you but the best. And it is my hope and my wish that we all still together, as we always have in Plano, that very, very special place, 
plain old Texas that we still gather around our kids, that we still show them the best of what's in them, that we still let them know that no matter how much people try to tear one another apart, that we are stronger together. Our inner strength, how we help out our community, the things that we uh, take from our community, and more importantly, the things that we turn back around and to give back. So despite the frustrations and difficulties of the moment, I have a huge, huge sense of hope in my heart. Because just like those times of Martin Luther King, when they went through some dark days and they didn't see their way clearly, that sense of hope is what brought the civil rights movement to happen. That, so, that, that sense of hope is what's made things change in our country and at times it was violent and at times it was crazy but it also were the times that strengthened people in ways that they never knew that they had strength so to my Plano family today I say this continue to fight the good fight continue to get into a little bit of good trouble in the words of, of, of uh, former Congressman John Lewis, and continue to take care of one another. We really are stronger together. Love people, look for the heart of a person, not for the look of a person, and continue to just follow your dreams. We're gonna all be okay. And it is so good to have this opportunity to talk to everyone. God bless you. Be safe. And please, whatever you do, wear your mask.